I'm Fawn Annan and welcome to another episode of President to President. In the fast-paced world of technology, mergers are common, even big ones. But the September 2016 mega merger between Dell Technologies and technology services provider EMC stunned the technology community. The $67 billion deal impacted more than 145,000 employees and made Dell Technologies the world's largest privately controlled tech company. Kevin Connolly, a 22-year EMC veteran, was tapped in July 2017 to serve as president of Dell EMC Canada and help implement the deal. When I met with him earlier this year over a game of darts, we chatted about the merger, his leadership style, and his commitment to mentorship. But wouldn't you know it, just days after recording the interview, Kevin was promoted to Senior Vice President for North America of North American Sales, with Paul Kutigak taking on the senior role in Canada. We will catch up with Paul another time. In my conversation with Kevin, I started by asking him about the success of the merger. It's been and will be probably considered one of the best mergers ever in technology, so I would be uh, I would be, uh, the evidence shows it's working and it's been great. You know, the effort has been though, we normalized to seven strategically aligned businesses and the effort has been to really put those together, knit those together and deliver better, uh, better solutions to our client base, right? Mm -hmm. So we spend, we spent four and a half billion dollars this year doing that. Uh, Michael is investing at scale and uh, so far so good. Has there been any surprises? Yeah, I mean the surprises are, um, that when you do all this, you affect people's lives, right? So we have taken thousands and thousands of people and kind of moved their cheese a little bit, right? Uh -huh. So I, I'm surprised every day at people's resiliency and their, their ability to say, got it, and go do something, you know, a little different. And that's been, a, that's been inspiring. Have you taken the best from both cultures and We've merged really, that together? Thank you for asking. My, uh, the, my, the most fun subject I have to talk about. The cultures were different. Um, we have put the best of both together. Dell being um, an operational and a machine, really. Uh, supply chain, um, manufacturing, they, they do it like nothing I've ever seen. And, uh, and, the, and the best of what EMC did, which was you know, really complex selling, uh, you know, really intense focus on a large solution, you know, complex problems, and we've put them together, and I think we're doing a heck of a job producing a really good company. Why don't you tell me about your leadership style? Well, you get a little bit of it, right? Um, it's energetic, right? So I always say that'll make up for a lot of short shortcomings if you wake up and you're inspired and you have energy, right? So that's what I look for in the organization. Um, passion around the company. Um, I focus on people always. So a lot of a lot of people work every day to make sure that they uh, they don't have things in their way. So I try to keep it simple. Uh, get some trust in some people. Tell them what they tell tell them the truth, and then uh, and then um, certainly simplify the message and move forward. And hopefully we get some energy and culture mixed in. That uh, and that's what we have right now. So as we both know, the workforce is changing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's the first time in history we have five generations yeah. working together. Uh, and then we have the new technologies on top of it, such as mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, that's bringing brand new forces. And you're talking about digital transformation. Obviously, that's impacting everybody, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where do you see the big changes in the workplace? And how is the technology helping that. Digital transformation means we're trying to get closer to the customer and the customer is trying to figure out what does what does everybody need? What do their clients need, right? right. Fast, agile, etc. So where do we play? Um, we play in on the infrastructure side, we play in IT transformation and try to modernize, you know, the data center and start, you know, start building so that you become a, you know, hybrid cloud and you have mobility, right? On the, but on the, on the end user side, so that's a data center, on the end user side, it is a mobile universe. So one of my philosophies is nothing will ever replace being in front of your people. Right. So I, I, I drive that fairly hard, uh, being present and in the game yep. and being visible is job one. So let them, everyone mobile, go do your thing. 
We have, a, we have a partner ecosystem that is vast across Canada, so a lot of folks will go and spend time with partners, but I ask of my leadership that they just be out, present, available, and visible. I understand that you do a lot of charitable donations and yeah. drives. Yeah. Who are or what are some of the charities that you know? We you're we uh, Scott Mission. I don't know okay, if you've heard yeah, about of that. Course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That yeah. That was eye opening. Yeah. To say the least. So that's yeah. one of uh, that's a good one. We do food. Uh, we do homeless. Uh, a lot of homeless work. I filled uh, my team filled a bunch of carrot uh, bags a couple of weeks ago. So that was that was fun. Um, we we do a lot of youth education, so I'm involved, we're involved in you know going to schools. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm doing a session in a couple of weeks, go teach business and uh, in the, in the youth organizations. So lovely. So yeah. tell me about um, your earlier life into mm -hmm. your current life as far as mentorship. Uh, has that been important in your personal and pro and professional life, and does it continue? Yeah. Yeah, I, um, it does. It is important. I actually just had a meeting yesterday and I had someone fly up from Boulder who I'm mentoring. So uh, we had hypos in the room for my meeting. So always, always, always trying to develop the next level, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say professionally, the lessons I've learned um, and deploy are from my mentors. For sure. Yeah. I'm just curious on the mentorship side, mm -hmm. when people have mentored you, yes. have they always been from the technology industry? Or are they from different parts of life, uh, different ways that you've met them? I have a mentor that I'm working that's global and I think it's really neat uh, that to, to learn how to act, how to lead in different cultures. So that's been my, that's what I try to do and I, I would encourage anybody if you're looking for a mentor, think bigger. Right. Think globally. Kevin, thank you so much for being here. It's been such a pleasure and uh, this has been a great interview. Enjoyed it immensely. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Thank you.